When we ask parents, would you prefer to give your child a drug or have them play a video game? They're like, well, they already play video games, so why don't we start with that? We already have this exciting behavioral platform to help improve performance. What we're doing is really trying to create an entire new category of medicine. For the last 25 years, I've been exploring how the brain works, what makes it sensitive to interference that prevents you from performing at the highest level of your abilities. I decided around eight years ago to actually build tools to improve how the brain functions and then lead to a better quality of people's lives. The work that we were doing was so cutting edge that we found that we didn't actually have a laboratory to do the type of work that we were conceiving of. Our goal is really to bridge the latest advances in high tech with neuroscience. And so in order to do that, we needed a very interactive media lab that was focused on neurology, psychiatric care, that had the ability for blood draws, that had brain scans. So that's what we built in the Neuroscape Lab. The first thing that we did was create a video game called NeuroRacer that challenges older adults in this very intense multitasking way with the hope that other abilities that are related to multitasking would improve as the result of getting better at the game. What we found with this game was first of all, that multitasking abilities really reach a peak at the early 20s and then decline straight through our lives. The good news is that we found that when we took a group of 60 to 80 year olds and had them play the game at home for 12 hours over the course of a month, we could revert their ability to multitask in the game back to the level of 20 year olds. But perhaps what was most exciting about the results of this study was that we found that we also improved their working memory. So that was really the big win, that things that we were not directly training on the game actually improved through gameplay. We now have several studies that are just beginning to go through the full FDA approval process. The first condition is for ADHD, but autism is not far behind it. One game that we're very excited about is called Body Brain Trainer, or BBT. And what BBT does is that it challenges you both physically and cognitively in one game experience. There's massive enthusiasm about this for different conditions, for example, Parkinson's disease and multiple sclerosis, which has both movement issues as well as cognitive challenges. The work that we do is really one of a kind. There's so much interest at UCSF from scientists and physicians that work in different populations that they take care of, ranging from ADHD, autism, depression, anxiety, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, and Alzheimer's disease. And we don't have enough room to develop and also do these type of clinical trials. So the expansion of the Neuroscape Lab is essentially to set up a unique clinical platform to do this next generation of testing new innovative brain improvement tools. We have interest from all over the world, both in using our tools and also applying them in unique ways to populations that we haven't even considered. And we're very excited about helping to seed these ideas. We know that the biggest, broadest global impact will happen not with us just doing the work here at UCSF, but everyone participating in it. Recently, we found that the NIH is willing to fund research in the domain of video games as therapeutics. But despite that, this work is still so cutting edge that we rely largely on the generosity of philanthropy to fund this type of work. I've been to the White House several times to speak about the potential of using video games to improve attention and quality of life. So right across the board, from the very highest levels, we have great interest in how we can create an entirely new way of using video games to improve the quality of our minds.